Hi Power Apples. If you like geographical data and if you like Power Apps, this is the video for you. I will show you how you can include a beautiful looking map, in this case of the 16 states of Germany, into your Power App. And this map is already looking pretty nice, but I will show you how to make it interactive. So it highlights the state you have selected from this gallery. Let's jump right into the video. As you may have already guessed, this is an SVG image and I will show you how to convert every shapefile into a beautiful looking SVG image in your Power Apps in just a few easy steps. First of all, you need a shapefile. You can get these shapefiles from basically everywhere for free. I download mine from the S3 homepage and it's a shapefile as you can see, of the 16 states of Germany. It often comes in a zip compressed folder and we then go to this awesome homepage called mapshaper.org and we upload this shapefile right here. It doesn't really matter what we select right here. We choose import and then we can see our file. What we now want to do is to simplify it. Because we don't need all these small edges in our Power App, we just want a clean and easy to handle image with a lower amount of points. So we simplify that. We will check prevent shape removal right here. That's pretty important if you have smaller shapes because you don't want to get anything missing so you can't highlight it later on. And we will tune that down to around 1% or even less. You can see you, you can still see the shapes and it still looks pretty, um, pretty clean I think. Then we're gonna hit export select SVG file and turn the precision down to about 0.1. Hit export right now and we will hit export a second time and use CSV to get the, uh, the names of the shapes or all the metadata that is in the shapes that you will probably later use in your app. Hit export right now. Now we're gonna look through the files that we downloaded. First of them is a CSV file, which we will only need the name of the states. So we go to data and separate by, by commas. Probably you want to take some some others but uh, I only need the titles of the states, the names of the states. So I'm gonna delete all of them. Also don't need the first row. And now we will look at our SVG document and we will open that in an editor. I just took the standard uh, Windows editor. And first thing that we do, because Power Apps doesn't uh, need double quotes, they need single quotes to replace all double quotes with a single quote. And now we get back to our Power App. And I will replace this for a second with the actual SVG code that we received. And as you can see, we already imported the SVG to Power Apps, which uh, yeah, looks not quite that nice. So we will look for another way how to do it a little bit better. We go back to our um, CSV file and take everything that we got from the editor and dump it right here. What we are really after 
are these 16 paths of our 16 states. This is just uh, uh, after one after another, several points with x and y coordinates that draws the shape around the German state and then next one, next one and next one. So we don't want the header. And what we actually don't want, I will match it with the names of the states right here and clean up the two states with umlaute. And what we want to do now is to clear the part with the And we now want to clean it up a little bit, so we only have the coordinates left. So we mark this, copy this, and, re and delete it. And what we're going to do in the back, because we have every state has uh, another ID, we will just um, take this thing here out. Now we've got our finished product and we're gonna take this and put it into a SharePoint list. I will show you in a few minutes why we will do this. So we just copy these right here and bring them to a SharePoint list I already prepared. We just have a title column and a coordinates column which is a multiple line of text column because we need more than 255 characters. So we go to the table view and dump everything in here. And as you can see, we have the, the name of the state in the first column and the coordinates part in the second column. So let's get back into the Power App. I already loaded all the data into this gallery and formatted it a little bit and deleted everything we had in that picture because we want to bring the states in one by one and highlight the selected state. So, first of all, we need um, this part in our SVG image, which just tells the image that it's an actual SVG image and then the encode URL part. You can just copy and paste this. This part is actually from the SVG file that we downloaded from MapShaper. And the most important parts are the width, height and the view box, which should be set to the same value as in the MapShaper file. And now all the states go in here and we will use a concat command to just do this. So everything in here is just a big piece of text. And now we will concatenate it with another concat and we will use the table Bundesländer. And then we will get the first part back that we deleted from the file. Next thing is all the coordinates and in the end we will have again the things that we deleted this is too much And we are back to our map of Germany, but now we want to fill the states with a different color. And the style commands go in here. And this is the reason why we put everything into a SharePoint list and why we use this concat command. Then we only have to type in once how we want to style the shapes. And we go with a fill of orange. Let's see if it worked. 
and as you can see that worked we go with a stroke width of three and a stroke which is the color of white and now we have an orange map and now we get to the highlight part where we uh, only show the selected state in orange and all the others in light gray we will copy this part once more and then we will replace this coordinates with gallery one dot selected dot coordinates and we say we want this to be filled in orange so we have two layers and the first layer oh, bracket too much and the first layer are the 16 states in light gray and the second layer is the currently selected state of the gallery in orange And that is all what I wanted to show you, but I think it's really fascinating how you can achieve such a beautiful result with so little effort. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about this, please leave me a comment. And if you want to have more fun with SVGs and learn more about Power Apps, please subscribe to my channel. We will do so much more with maps and SVGs. We will use this as a chart, we will label it and we will download it and much much more to come. See you next time.